Hello everybody, I just wanted to show you a quick little tip that's going to save you a whole bunch of time if you're developing games in Unity, especially if you're using their data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system. So you see that if I hit the play button here, it actually takes a little bit of a while until we actually enter play mode. In fact, it takes about five to 10 seconds on average. Even though I have like a PC with pretty good specs on it, it still takes quite a while. However, there is an easy setting that you can change to dramatically reduce the amount of time that it takes to actually enter play mode. So if you open up the project settings window just by going up to edit and project settings and then navigating to the editor section, you'll see that down towards the bottom, you have an enter play mode settings selection. And you'll see that this is an experimental feature, so it means that it's not guaranteed to work with all third-party plugins and packages just quite yet. However, you see that when we enable that, and then we just go ahead and leave these other two options unchecked, when we go hit play mode now, we're pretty much right into the game. I mean, you'll see that it takes under half a second. Look, we can just go out of play mode here and hit play, and then you'll see that we're right back into it almost instantaneously. So this is something that's like really critical, especially for rapid prototyping, because you wanna be testing out your game very frequently. And if you have to wait, you know, 10 seconds every single time that you wanna test your game, that's gonna add up over time. That's gonna be incredibly frustrating. And it's really just a whole bunch of wasted time. Now I'll leave some links down in the description for some more information so you can learn about how this works and some of the limitations of it but basically it's eliminating a domain reload every time that we enter play mode. Now, if you are using some global static variables to hold states, you may end up running into some issues. However, by nature with the entity component system, you typically are not doing those kinds of things by design. Anyways, I hope you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos on features coming to the Unity game engine. And down in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of these kind of quicker tip videos and let me know if you'd like to see more of them. So anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.